Mount Luxor was lovely to visit. Shame I don't have more time. Could have got an ice cream or two in. But, uh, see, I've left the Matlock one of the rare times without having a bit of nosh. So, this is how much, how determined I am to do a good job on this review. I've skipped the ice cream. And those who know, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, effortlessly try a little twist. It's, uh, I think it's that, it's that responsiveness. As soon as you ask for power, it goes for it. Um, compared to the Trans Out, I think that's one of the things that were different. So a lot of times, you know, you're going through something, you ask for a bit of power and it would just take a little bit longer, you wouldn't get this much. There was a lot more on the top end, definitely. But uh, now what we're going to do, um, we're going to make our next, trip, next stop in Ashbourne and uh, we're actually going to go through one of my favourite roads, Vigelia. Uh, I do genuinely love this road. And uh, on the plus side, this is actually on the way back home for me. So normally when I'm in Matlock, when I come up, come up to Matlock, I can come through Vigelia. Yeah, you can give it. At least the indicators are closing up, so that's always nice. Quinta de Sorda. So Bongo can see. Well, okay. Now, now I've got to see how this route is. Vigelia is quite a notorious route and one of the reasons is, is the number of accidents um, that generally people have had on this road. Um, some people drive terribly, think it's a track and do all sorts. Um, you know, go past the pond. Comfort Pond. There you go. Yeah, one of the issues with doing Vigelia during the week is actually the um, the lorries from the quarries. Yeah, it rhymes. The lorries from the quarries throw a lot of dust and gunk all over the floor all over the road rather and so when you're going through it can be caked sometimes in quarry dust and if that wasn't bad enough uh, there's a lot of st streams and water that you pass over the road um, and that mixes with the quarry dust to makes a slippery pace if that wasn't bad enough the road's quite twisty and it's not particularly good condition uh, if that wasn't bad enough uh, you got all, all people who drive like a nut job up and down here and so you just don't know when you're going to come into some car if you're taking on a dodgy corner I am not going to speed at all in this little run I'm taking it's a new bike it's still being run in and I'm not pushing it from any angle and uh, it's a 40 mile an hour limit for those who care <laughs> Oh god, I love Derbyshire. Whee! 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour. <laughs> that is dust. Also, you've got loads of uh, manhole covers all over the place. Woodside Cafe. A toilet with a view there. Very nice. Ah. 
petit nautique. Yeah, so it's uh, you do get a lot of cars and things pulling into the homes, pulling out. Uh, so suddenly you can have to stop. Lovely stream on the side. Thalys, Derby is just, just so beautiful. I tell you. So lucky to live in an amazing place like this. Oh, I'm still in love with the Shire. Isn't I? Well, I was caught it. I'm doing very jelly in fifth. Come on, I'm taking the piss, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, the blind curves and the blind dips, the blind bends. Just respect the road. Oh, it's so much fun. So beautiful to ride up as well when you're with somebody else in the car and coming up. So many things to see on the road. So many beautiful picturesque spots. There we go. And we're coming into the national park here. through a bit of mud. Okay. Well, this is a paste, a quarry paste I was telling you about. Stuff's lethal.
Let's get for the ice cream. Man.